want smoother gameplay, lower input lag, and a real FPS boost without buying new hardware. If you're frustrated with stutters, random input delay, or that annoying feeling of laggy aim, these tweaks are designed to squeeze out every drop of performance your current GPU can deliver. These are the best NVIDIA settings for 2025 fully updated and tested on the latest drivers and games I've retested them with this year's driver updates, so you won't be using outdated tips. I'll walk you through every step from the new NVIDIA app to classic control panel settings, plus a bonus Windows trick most gamers forget, no rush tips. I'll cover both the new and old interfaces so you can follow along <coughs> regardless of your driver version. And that Windows trick at the end? Don't skip it, it genuinely reduces latency in many titles. Starting with the new NVIDIA app. If you're on the latest version of GeForce drivers, you might already have access to the new NVIDIA app. This app is NVIDIA's big shift away from the old GeForce experience and control panel split. It's designed to be simpler and faster so you spend less time digging through menus. This replaces GeForce experience and control panel with a unified cleaner interface one app to rule them all. No more switching back and forth between separate tools. Open the app and in the sidebar click Settings Graphics. This is where all the performance critical toggles live. NVIDIA consolidated these so you don't have to hunt through tabs. Now enable the following low latency mode. This reduces the delay between your inputs and what you see on screen. Turn it on for more responsive gameplay. In shooters or racing games, this can be the difference between hitting or missing. It tells the GPU to prioritize just-in-time frame delivery. VSync, set this to off. Unless you're experiencing screen tearing, disabling VSync lowers input delay. This is because VSync forces your GPU to wait for monitor refresh cycles. With it off, frames are delivered as fast as possible. Image scaling. Enable this if you're running games below native resolution. It sharpens up visuals without a huge performance cost. A great option if you're trying to keep high FPS, but hate blurry upscaling. It's NVIDIA's answer to maintaining visual clarity while lowering internal resolution. These quick toggles give you near instant improvements without touching advanced menus. You can literally get better responsiveness in under a minute. If you don't have the NVIDIA app yet, no worries. Everything can still be done through the classic control panel, which we'll get into next. And honestly, the control panel still offers some settings you can't tweak in the new app, so it's worth knowing both. Right, click your desktop and open NVIDIA control panel. On the left side, go to Manage 3D Settings, then the Global Settings tab. This section controls your GPU's behavior system-wide. These global settings affect every game unless you override them individually. It's the foundation for consistent performance. Here are the key settings to change power management mode. Set this to prefer maximum performance. This keeps your GPU running at higher clock speeds for smoother gameplay, especially in CPU heavy games. When left on default, your GPU may downclock to save power even during gaming. This ensures it runs at full tilt. Low latency mode set to ultra. This forces your GPU to render frame just before they're needed, greatly reducing input lag. It's one of the most effective settings for reducing floaty or delayed aiming. Threaded optimization. Turn this on. It helps the game spread work across multiple CPU cores, especially useful for modern titles that aren't well optimized. Many games still don't efficiently use multiple cores unless nudged. This helps avoid bottlenecks on the CPU side. Texture filtering quality. Set this to high performance. 
you lose a tiny bit of visual fidelity, but gain smoother frame rate and faster loadings. Trust me, the image quality loss is minimal, while the FPS gain can be noticeable in heavy scenes. Also, Vertical Sync VSYNC, keep this off unless your monitor is prone to screen tearing. If you're on GSYNC or Frank, you're better off letting the monitor handle sync. Next still inside NVIDIA Control Panel, go to Display Change Resolution. First, make sure your monitor is running at its maximum refresh rate. This is one of the most overlooked settings. Windows sometimes resets your refresh rate without telling you. If you have a 144Hz or 240Hz display, Windows sometimes defaults to 60Hz after driver updates. So even if you paid for that high refresh monitor, you might not be using it. Always double check. Under the resolution list, choose the native resolution of your monitor, usually 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440. Then, on the right side, make sure refresh rate is maxed out. If you're on an ultra-wide or 4K monitor, same idea. Just ensure it's the correct native res and highest refresh. Bonus, Windows Optimization. Disable full screen optimizations. This last step is a hidden gem for FPS players. Disable full screen optimizations in Windows. Go to your game's installation folder, right click the game's .exe file, choose properties. Under the compatibility tab check, disable full screen optimizations. You're basically telling Windows to get out of the way and let the game run in true exclusive mode. What does this do? Windows tries to optimize full screen apps with overlays and composition buffers, but this can add input lag and mess with frame pacing. Overlay effects, the Xbox game bar, and even simple notifications can increase latency. Disabling this forces true exclusive full screen mode, giving your GPU direct access to the screen. Let me know in the comments what game you're optimizing for, and if there are other settings you want me to break down next. I love customizing these guides to your needs, so don't be shy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next